this thing is fast. Let's try it one more time. The tires are screaming. <laughs> yeah. Tires are screaming <laughs> and so are you. Um, and you yeah, will be too. I was got... like, okay, don't scream, don't scream. <laughs> and actually, the braking is really impressive. So we'll try. We promised we'd try the braking. So let's do this. We're going 45. Let's actually go a little faster. Let's go 50 miles per hour and we let go. And this is just electric motor braking. And we've now come to a stop. And it's a, a stop that is not too quick. It's just perfect. It's not abrupt. However, when you add also the braking from the calipers and the piston, well, our impressions on that is Marie said, I'm going to my pants uh, <laughs> at, at the lights. I'm coming over the bridge, we're at the lights, we weren't filming, and I let go a little uh, uh, of the accelerator a little too late and added some brake pedal, and Marie it gave yeah, you Yeah, because uh, you were thinking that you were able to stop before hitting the car in front of you, and I was like, ah, no. So, yeah, don't depend only on that. You need to maybe have your feet next to the pedal uh, of brake just in case. <laughs> so now, 50 miles per hour, and we'll let go and we'll actually use let go of the accelerator and even use the actually use the brakes. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Well, that, uh, that'll be one of those times where the brakes actually get used. How did you find that? Oh, I need to go to the, how you call that, the muscle? The, uh, yeah, get a massage. Get yeah, your, get a your massage back for placed. my neck. <laughs> I so, was like, man. <laughs> braking, 10 out of 10. Yeah. The tire screams again. <laughs> so. Out for a ride, a nice little test drive. So we've got the F-150 Lightning right here. It's a Lariat 511. How do you feel about the look, the layout, the quality of the finish? I love the look. The stitches, uh, stitches, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Uh, it's a whoa. rocket ship. Something was moving inside me. <laughs> Maybe it was my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was my heart because I love how this thing accelerates. It's heart pounding. It's instant torque. And you're not... <laughs> okay, that's some acceleration. Even when this, it's slippery out. Okay, we've got quite the snowstorm here, so we're testing out how the F-150 Lightning handles the snow. You know, is it too much torque? You know, is it too much torque for its own good? It's got 776 pound-feet of torque. And, well, traditionally, historically, a vehicle had a ton of torque. It was a little wild in the snow. Now, of course, these days, everyone has technology to help keep you safe. Uh, everyone uses, you know, the, the braking in each tire is used to help control slides. Now this is an intelligent 4x4 all-wheel drive system. You've got one electric motor up in the front controlling the front two wheels. You've got one electric motor in the back controlling the rear wheels and well the vehicle up to at least 16 times per second can actually change how much power it distributes to each wheel and it uses that varying power distribution so I'll repeat that it's varying power distribution to each wheel to keep you in a straight line so this is uh, the second snowstorm I went through a uh, actually a worse snowstorm yesterday because there's a lot more accumulated on these mountain roads the snow accumulation, this is nothing compared to yesterday. There's two or three inches and I can attest. Uh, I had a moment on the highway. I thought I might. I was passing someone who was going about 60 kilometers Crash an hour and I was doing about 100. And I did not want to slide into them because I was the one that chose to pass them. And in doing so, I thought there is so much slush on the roads, it's just jam packing these tires, even though these are BF Goodrich KO2s, there's a ton of tread, these are new tires. 
but there was so much snow, it was jamming even the deep, thick treads present on these BF Goodrich KO2s, which I absolutely love thus far for winter driving. But they were just jam-packed, filled up, and the vehicle started to slide. And I thought I was gonna slide right into the guardrail. And quite impressively, uh, I just ever so slightly turned the steering wheel. That's a situation where if you do not want to turn the steering wheel quickly or too harshly. So you don't wanna turn the steering wheel too much or too quickly, because that can throw the vehicle into a slide. Yeah, it was already sliding. You don't want to hit the brakes because that will continue the vehicle sliding. Now, I was worried because when you let go of the, uh, the accelerator on an electric vehicle, when you're on one pedal mode, well, the brakes start to apply. Well, brakes, not the brakes on the wheels, but the electric motor braking for regeneration. And I was actually worried that that was going to cause the vehicle to, well, do something pretty dangerous <laughs> and that's uh, kind of just slide in a straight line but I ever so slightly touched the steering wheel turned it about uh, three to five degrees to the right and was able to avoid having an accident because the power distribution the intelligence of the vehicle appropriately put the right amount of power to each wheel and the vehicle itself truly helped bring me back into the line that I needed to avoid the guardrail and actually when I got back into the main lines that were you know concrete the vehicle really grabbed hard but didn't shoot off uh, didn't shoot off so it was actually a pretty scary but impressive situation so I'm loving the lightning it does fantastic in these snowstorms and I would recommend it as a very very safe vehicle if you do ever the likelihood you're gonna crash one of these uh, on the vehicle based on the vehicle losing control is rather quite slim with this intelligent all-wheel drive system and if you do have an accident well the f-150 lightning it's the platform off an f-150 so you're in for some of the safest accident crash situations possible it's a five-star on you know f-150s are five stars on every category except rollover where it gets a four star five star is the highest rating you can get so i truly believe that these vehicles are fantastic now are they worth the money well i'll be i did cover that somewhat and i'll be covering it a whole lot more in upcoming videos